Don't do anything crazy, bro. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. We beat the shit out of Lieutenant Surge, we really did. We got him so good, brah. And now we gotta head back up to, uh, Cerulean City, and cut down this pesky bush, and we can continue on to the rock tunnel. Possibly catch a new Pokemon, I don't know if I have anything that, uh, hits soft enough to catch wild Pokemon out there. Out there in the wild yonder. Perhaps we should check on our good friend uh, Batman as well. Ha see how Alfred is taking care of him. Yes, most good. And do not jump off that shit. I hope my kids don't fall off that. Oh no, wait, he's flying. Never mind. Grown a lot. My level has grown by 12. That's pretty good. Fine, come any time. I mean, we'd still have to play a lot of catch up with him, but really not too bad. I mean, as long as we can kind of keep him pace with uh, our current pokes, we should be in good shape. No? Maybe? I don't know. Cut this tree down. Get this shit out of here. What route is this? Is it a different route? Unveil your mysteries. Route 9. Okay, so we can catch a Pokemon up in that grass. But first I gotta beat this lady's ass. <laughs> you have Pokemon with you? You have mine. Okay, that's creepy. Like, just because you like Pokemon and somebody else like Pokemon, that doesn't mean that you automatically, like, get to have that person in whatever way you're, you're thinking. How about Headbutt? Get your Mantine shit out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna use Air Slash and just fuck my shit. Four times weakness, dead psilocybin, and I'd kill myself and quit Nuzlocke forever. It wouldn't... no. Can't happen. There's a slow poke. No problem. I got the fucking Wrecker. The Wrecking Ball, right here. BOOSH! Get the fuck out of here! And he flinched. And he flinched, and it's so sad that he flinched, but... I don't really give a shit. I'm here to win! All right, take no prisoners, baby. Like, you might be a, a weird lady, a weird picnicker lady that just wants to hit on me. Knocked out. Yes, I'll change. But to me, you're nobody. I don't care if you hit on me or not. I'm gonna hand you your shit, just because. Just because you were out here, wrong place, wrong time, bitch. <laughs> Rock slide. Oh, that's so good. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Almost up there, Elvis. And we got Teddy Ursa, so I will let Elvis fucking smash this teddy bear with a rock. That's so sad. He's so adorable. Got a little moon on his head. And now he's dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I really like you. Cool design. 27. I really like any bear Pokemon, actually. Come to think of it. Pangoro was in my uh, top Pokemon. You deceived me. That's right. Um, the tunnel coming up is pitch black. You'll need Flash to get through there. Well, I ain't got that shit. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> Light screen. Well, that'll be useful, I guess. We need to teach it to somebody who I refused it. <laughs> refused to teach it before. I.e. Tranny. Oh, you caught me. Wahaha, <laughs> great! I was bored, eh? Oh, great. A Canadian! He comes from the Great White North to take my money. Love disc. Another love disc. Why this? Alright. Magical Leaf, yeah. How did I know? It's so good I put Tranny in the front. No problem, brah. No problem. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Fuck yourself, love disc! The worst Pokemon ever! Ugh. Wow, look at that special D. 77, holy shit. He's got a shell gone, I'm gonna stay in. Why not? I think a confusion will fucking knock a big hole in that thing. If I was really too worried, I could put up a reflect, but uh, I don't think it'll be around for that long. Holy shit, headbutt! Yeah, we're good. 
I mean, Reflect would make that do laughable damage, but as it is, it's... Yeah, nothing too scary. <laughs> Good job, Tranny! I'm... I'm... Really kind of digging Mr. Mime. After all the shit that I've talked, I'm really... Kind of grateful that I found him, in a way. It's... A sick thing to say, I know. It makes me feel... Queasy. Who's that walking over there? With those good-looking Pokemon. Bro, please don't be one of those poke fetishists Camper Chris. Chris, that's a poke fetishist name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Sorry, if your name's Chris. It's actually a, probably a more popular name than, uh, what I say, Dylan? I, I know way more Chris's than Dylan's. But, you know, I still wouldn't put fetishizing Pokemon past all the Chris's I know. All of them. Uh, Politoed. Yeah, we'll, we'll stay in. That's alright. Go for it, Mr. Freeze. You can do the thing. Headbutt. Boosh! Oh, it's so delicious. That's not delicious. I hate it. I wish I would have known that was coming. Didn't see it coming at all, though. Acorn can kind of, uh, soak up sleep better than any of my other team members. He'll wake up extremely fast. Mr. Freeze will be out here two to five turns asleep. And with Parish Song, this is... This is not gonna be good. Parish count fell to three. Well, at least the Politoed will die. Even if I do have a sleepy Pokemon on my hands. Damn it. I don't want to waste my awakening. I paid money for that! It's mine! Hit five times. That's that's pretty good. It did pretty good there. Wake up. God damn it. Alright, we gotta switch him out on the next turn. He's not gonna wake up. Mr. Freeze! He's sleepy. He just wants to be with his wife. I understand. Um... Do not fight. Do not fucking fight. If I lose Mr. Freeze, I'll shit. We'll switch into Clam Slam. Clam Slam! Get some dynamic going. Yeah, water gun. No problem. Give me more. Make me powerful. Parish count fell to zero! <laughs> it sung itself to death. That's so sad. That's so sad when that happens. It actually happens more often to bullfrogs than you would think. They try to eat things that are bigger than themselves and choke to death. Out like a light. I don't really know how that relates, but I don't really care either. Yay! Uh-oh, there's another fucking guy over here. Where'd all these fucking people come from, man? Um, I'll put Acorn in the front, I guess. I don't know. He's got that fake out. I kind of like the fake out. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Well... Why don't you show me what kind of Pokemon hatched from your cocoons, hmm? A Pichu? Yeah. I think that came from an egg, not a cocoon. But you know, we can't all be scientists, that's fine. Some of us just catch bugs for a living. And that's okay. An entomologist is still a scientist. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you aren't. Even though it's kind of true. No, that's not true. I wanted to be an entomologist for a really long time. I still kind of do it in my heart. But instead, I'm a Poketuber. <laughs> can't you be both? No! No, you can't! You gotta catch them all, but only of one kind. I don't have time for both. Look at that double haymaker. God damn, kicked him in the chest with both feet. Fucking acorn. Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball, kid! That's right! He didn't give a fuck. Bug catcher Brent. Hatched a clay doll from his fucking cocoon. What a weirdo. What a waste of time. You're so right. Get away from me. Ah, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. What will it be? What will it be? Ooh. A Cradley. Well, I'll take it. It's actually a pretty useful Pokemon as far as, uh, defensive stats go. So, we could use oh, another wall on our team, I suppose. Let's, uh, yeah, Mega Kick that shit. See what that does. Ugh! Pretty good. Could we paralyze it too? 
Oh, I've got somebody who could paralyze it. Or does nature power do it? Nature power? Yeah, it's done for. Fuck yeah. This is gonna work out beautifully, even though I'm super high level compared to it. Cradily. Don't ingrain, you dick. Now he's gonna start gaining health back every turn. Uh, why you do this? Why you freaking do this? It's all right. We'll try a Pokeball. <laughs> Throw a Safari Ball at it. That is used only in the Safari Zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. <laughs> I hope it doesn't bug out. Oh, it just broke. Because Safari Balls are shit, and everybody knows it. Man, he's gonna gain all this health back. That ain't gonna be good. Let me just throw another Pokeball over there. Come with us, little Cradley. Come on, buddy. You can come with us. Trust us. Goddamn. More acid. Cradley, use acid. Cradley, use acid. Cradley, use acid. Cradley, use acid. And if you've done LSD, you'll you'll relate to that heavily. Just things repeated over and over and over. My best friend put fucking LSD in a hamburger, and then he's like, "Wouldn't that be hilarious if I put five taps of LSD in your hamburger?" And then, uh, like, the entire trip—that's basically all I heard. Wouldn't that be so hilarious? Wouldn't that be so hilarious if I put five? Wouldn't that be so hilarious if I put five LSD? Oh, good! We caught a Cradley! <laughs> I was getting so off-topic. So incriminating evidence. What the fuck ever. It ensnares prey with its eight tentacles and then melts it with a strong acid before feeding. I did it for scientific purposes, okay? And, uh... Just because... I'm gonna name him... Use acid! <laughs> Hooray! We caught acid! Use acid! Use acid! Don't actually use acid. Unless you want your, like, perception of reality to fall apart. Which mine kinda has, but it's whatever. Reality's not all that great to be attached to anyways. It'll bring you down, man! <laughs> Go, my super bug Pokemon! Oh god. What kind of bugs do you got, bro? Bug catcher Connor would like to battle. That's a douchebag name. Vileplume! Blooms once every 30 years, smells like shit. <laughs> Headbutt! Yeah! It's actually pretty powerful. Not a bad tank. But not able to take two headbutts. Mm-mm. Not from the fucking wrecking ball. Breloom. I try not to use him too much because I really could just overuse him and overlevel him so easy. 83 attack. Holy fuck! And Cyndaquil, I will switch out for that. I'm a little bit scared. I don't I don't want to put anybody in danger that doesn't really need to be in danger. And I think my team is almost well-rounded enough that I could switch my rule set to the to set where you're not allowed to switch Pokemon between every knockout or whatever. I don't know about it though. I'm nervous. I don't want things to go to shit all of a sudden. And they can really easy in something like this. It's mostly because I'm over-leveled that I'm just rolling over stuff right now. You know, I generally try to keep myself a good amount higher. Grand Bowl. Ooh, Intimidate! Goddamn. That's gonna suck. I think I have mostly physical attacks. That's alright. Rock Slide! Yeah, my team I'm pretty proud of. It's built back up in a really nice way, and now we actually do have a couple of pokes on reserve. Uh, so I'm excited. I don't know, I think I might actually make it to the end. Although, because I said that, I probably just fucked myself, and I never will. <laughs> so, uh, who knows? What is that hiker gonna do to me? Just leave me alone, bro. I'm trying to find another patch of grass. To smoke! Goodbye, Picnicker. I just skipped a bunch of people, but now we're on Route 10. 
So let's see what it do, baby boo! Aw, oh, yeah. And, oh, an A-Palm. I love Ambipalm. I, I forgot what the first evolution's called. Okay. Can we stun spore this thing first? Just a little bit. We missed, that's fine. Don't run away. Don't do anything crazy, bro. You could easily join my team. You are super awesome. And uh, I'm gonna nickname you Handjob. I already know. <laughs> it's the only name to give a fucking Ambipalm. Or a palm. Please don't crit it. Just your special attack's not very good, so please don't crit it. <gasps> okay, all right, it's fine. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. At least it doesn't have ingrained to fucking give its health back. So it should be a relatively easy catch. Still got a shit ton of Pokeballs. Ooh, that's not good. We need False Swipe. I really would like a Pokemon with False Swipe. Some people use Smeargle as like their catching Pokemon and give him Spore and False Swipe. Basically, that's all you need. Ooh! Ah, oh, goddamn! It was so close. It was so close. But that's fine. I got a lot of these, bro. I will go all day for Ambipom. I don't give a shit. Come on. Do the thing. Yeah, buddy! I love it! I already know its name. I already know. Let's see what it says. Lives atop tall trees when leaping from branch to branch. It definitely uses its tail for balance. Mm-hmm. Handjob! Oh, I love him so much. Can we level him up now? Yeah! Woo! Handjob! I feel bad to leave anybody else behind. I don't know. I really do want to raise Handjob for my very own. But maybe we'll stick with the team we got for now. In the next episode, we're going to uh, Brave the Rock Tunnel. I do hope you'll join me for it, friends. It's sure to be an adventure. <laughs> if you did enjoy the episode, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye-bye! One, two, three, four. <gasps>